Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Műsoraink sok nyelvet tartalmaznak. Kérjük tekintse meg itt suprememastertv.com per schedule. Then God said to them, It's easy for you to say, Hmm. Suppose I test you uh, by letting you stay together with the humans for 100 years. If you both could uh, withstand all the temptations, I will definitely uh, do as you requested, meaning destroy the humans. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Fayutan is How Are You in Suranan, one of the main languages of Suriname. My name is Abigail. In God's grace, the people of Suriname pray that the worldly citizens continue to adopt the organic vegan solution for halting climate change. Suriname is situated on the northeastern coast of South America and is the smallest country on the continent. With its Caribbean-infused culture, it is also one of the most ethnically diverse and dynamic countries in the Americas. Citizens with heritage from India, Africa, Indonesia and China all combined for an amazing melange of cultures. Their harmonious coexistence can be seen through the cathedrals, mosques, synagogues and temples that stand amicably next to each other. In the capital city of Paramaribo, the Jewish Nefer Shalom Synagogue shares a parking area with the Mosque Kaiserstraat. These historic religious monuments are joined by the St. Peter and Paul Cathedral, said to be the largest wooden structure in the Western Hemisphere, with an interior that is beautifully crafted. As a land that is grazed with 94% tree cover, Suriname is the most forested country in the world. Protecting wildlife has been made a priority, as seen in areas like the Central Suriname Nature Reserve, which is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Other natural features include 5,000 species of plant life, as well as many protected mammals, such as the ocelot, jaguar and Guyana dolphin. We were delighted to introduce the beauty and wonders of Suriname to you, compassionate viewers. May your days be filled with generosity and compassion. For decades, Supreme Master Cheng Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation 
to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped world honored one, Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped son of God, Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Cheng Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Cheng Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Cheng Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Cheng Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Guzi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008. February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologise for not being able to show many other awards and honours for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Cheng Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organisations, leaders and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included Alternative Living Flyer Distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Huts, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Cheng Hai has travelled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. In another work-related phone call on Sunday, February 7th, 2021, our most beloved Supreme Master Cheng Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled The Fallen Angels Part 2 of 8 on Between Master and Disciples given in English on February 7th, 2021. Actually, I don't have time to read books nowadays anymore. This, all this I read a long time ago, before the COVID. I told you before, yeah? Yes. That is a time when I had a lot, a lot of time. Not a lot of time, I read a lot. Because I didn't have to do computer stuff. <laughs> I wrote very fast. When I wrote, I wrote very fast. So I just uh, wrote my comments or my corrections, and then you did everything else. Yeah? I mean, you type it and send it away. Thus, I have more time than now. The computer is really makes me very busy, but uh, it's good like that also. There's pro and cons for everything, yeah? Yes. Like this, I'm more independent. I can go anywhere, anytime. So it is also good, but it's bad in many ways because I don't know what else to do with many things. Many things I cannot do alone. My computer like this, I don't know how yet. I don't have time to even learn, so your brother took care from remote. And this is a wonderful time. I feel like we're almost like in the lower heaven. Yes, we have like washing machine, wash my clothes in no time. We have even the, the machine that dispenses boiling water yeah. instantly, and even ice water, icy water instantly. You know, right? Yes. Yes. You have them, right? Yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm. The other day, I hurt my foot, oh. my toe. Oh. <sighs> I was thinking of someone who is sick and feeling sympathetic. Immediately, something fell on my toe out of nowhere, and no reason, almost. Oh. I, I didn't see any reason. It just fell from, <laughs> from the shell. And then I hurt my toe so much, I screamed so loud. Oh. And then, because of this machine, the ice water machine, yeah. yes. Yes. I immediately soaked my... I remember that, you know, if you, you bruise or something, you just soak yourself, soak it in the ice water. Mm. Yes. Oh, and the water is limitless, you know. I just keep changing 
when it's warm, I change it, and when I change it, I keep soaking it for a while, and then, and then, it it doesn't show the bruise, and then it it doesn't hurt. Mm. After a while, you know, it's almost like nothing happened, and I was so happy. I think I I was thinking I'm in in heaven already. <laughs> I have washing machine, which is a smaller heaven, and this machine which dispenses boiling water and ice water. Oh, I'm thinking I'm in heaven. I never knew this thing before. I didn't know it existed. Some of your brothers told me that you you guys have them, yeah. Yes, mm. yes, ma'am. But I didn't know that. I I thought it's very big. It's for the public. It must be for many tens of people, not for me alone. It's too wasteful. But they have smaller version. They didn't tell me. Mm. Uh, before I used to have to boil water. It takes a long time, and sometimes. I forgot, uh, and the water is uh, all gone. <laughs> it keeps boiling, you know. You cannot keep moving and having everything with you, uh, even water boilers. I boil in the pan, and sometimes I forgot the time. I forgot I keep doing something else, or SMTV, and I forgot, and then the water boils off. And, uh, you know, it's kind of not very safe. Yeah. So now I even have this everywhere I, I move. I make sure they have it for something. Yeah, but mostly they have it already nowadays. I hope so. Yeah, and then I feel like, wow, what convenience, you know. I keep thanking heaven for all the comfort. Yeah. I did not know I have, I could have this until the dogs moved in some other area. And uh, your sister used to live there before. She has one uh water dispenser like that, and she didn't use it anymore because she's gone. And then they wanted to put it somewhere. I said, oh, give it to me. I didn't know that such thing exists. Huh? I didn't know for individual machine exists. So I said, hey, give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I know, it's just a few months ago I knew about that. I didn't know that before. I kept boiling water all the time, whenever I need it. And now it feels like heaven, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I ask them to install it here and there, wherever I might be. And then I feel like, wow, what a comfortable life. You don't have to wait for a long time. And because if I don't have a, a, like a refrigerator, and the refrigerator will make ice cream. Yeah. But even ice cream won't last as long as this kind of water. The machine, it comes out all the time, you know? Yes, yes. You don't even have to fill in water or fill in a tray or anything. Oh, I feel it's so fantastic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but why do I tell you this stuff? One moment. Ah, yeah, I have to look into the camera, not into you, because then later nobody will see me. <laughs> All right, so continue, huh? Mm. I don't know why I told you this story about the water. Huh? Ah, one of the angels. Uh, water, element. water element. Yeah, water element, but it wasn't that. Mm. I just said because we need, eh? We need water, yeah? And we need the wind also. Okay, so never mind. Whatever I said it, I forgot it. The humans, they are feeble and fickle because I use the earth, you know, soil to create them. And soil is a lesser quality than fire. Mm. Less pure than fire. Of course, fire, you can see, it comes, it goes, yeah? Mm. And it could even destroy the whole earth. Mm. Yes. Oh, so powerful. But earth, it, nothing happened, nothing. It cannot do anything to anybody except just to grow things, <laughs> to help to sustain uh, life on earth, yeah? But I wonder why it should be called lesser quality, less pure. We need fire also, but I think earth is very noble, no? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yeah, very useful and very helpful, yeah? Yes. Mm. yeah? Never mind, this God's opinion, and He's God. We cannot argue with Him, right? <laughs> we cannot <laughs> argue with God, whatever He, he thought, or whatever He deemed, a pure or not pure, a qualitative or not, that uh, we, we, we just have to uh, accept it as is. So we continue with our story, huh? So... In here it says earth is a substance that is, uh, it even doesn't say lesser quality. It's a very inferior element compared to fire. If I had created you 
both with the soil, with earth, then you would also be the uh, same with them, nothing better than the humans. So now the two angels say to God, uh, even so, we would like to, if it were them, they would uh, treat the humans differently, not the way God treated the humans, that's what they meant. Then God said to them, Ha! Huh, eh, it's easy for you to say, mm, Suppose I test you eh, by letting you stay together with the humans for 100 years. If you both could uh, withstand all the temptations, I will definitely uh, do as you requested meaning destroy the humans. Whew. Meaning, uh, up to that time, I will destroy humans. I will uh, kill them all. But if you both, day by day, gradually become just like them, then I will hang you up on top of uh, the mountain its name means Darkness Mountain, you know, Darkness Mountain that exists in between heaven and earth. That's what he said, okay? If the, if the two angels become contaminated <laughs> like humans, then he will uh, hang them up on that mountain top. Uh, the Creator, God Almighty. No, it's not Almighty. They didn't say Mighty. Holy God. Uh, okay. The Creator, Holy God, then acted according to what He has just spoken, dispatched these two angels down to, to earth. After a period of time, living together with the humans, both of them <laughs> had forgotten everything that they had ever known before. And then they <laughs> they could not withstand all the um, temptations, all the pleasures, all the sensations in uh, the physical world. More and more, they desired possessions, uh, properties, uh, um, good stuff. <laughs> to eat, and wine, and women, beautiful women. They live more vigorously, more zealously than the humans. They live their life more to the full, <laughs> more uh, with our strength. Even uh, they exceeded humans in sinful activities. At the end, both of them had children, and then also uh, raise them up to make uh, a very, very strong, stronger generation and more cunning, more vicious than other generations of humans. So God has seen all <laughs> that He already foresaw. He had known this before, so He has seen all this. And then... <laughs> Moment. Oh, it was hot and now it is cold. <laughs> the room is very small, very, very small. So everything is very intense. <laughs> if you put a fan or something on cold, it will be cold very fast and very, very cold. If you put some heater or something on, it will heat up very fast and very, very hot, <laughs> very quick. It's a good thing, so I don't have to sleep. I just have to stay awake and turn on, turn off, turn <laughs> off, turn off. <laughs> I remember I told you I live in a big uh, cave in Spain, yeah? Yes. And it was winter, and it's, uh, the bucket uh, of water outside my cave, just outside of the roof of the cave, that's it. And then it becomes the whole chunk of ice, the whole bucket of ice. I mean, not just the top, but the whole, like a big stone, oh. <laughs> bucket shape of ice. 
inside the cave, inside my tent, I need to put an oil heater. Yeah, very cheap. But every now and then, I have to keep <laughs> bringing it out and back in and out often. Yeah, because it gets hot so quick. And you cannot control more than that. You, even you put the heater at the lowest level already, it's still too hot. Yeah, but the cave is all open. Yeah. They're protruding out at the, the roof from the mountain. And the water or the rain keeps digging, eating the, the earth. And on top of that is a hard, hard stone. So it's still digging like a big, a big hole. But there's no, only maybe walls on both sides, but not in the front. And the front is very, very long, you know, like 10 meters long. Even then, inside the cave is warmer than outside of just the roof. I put things outside the roof, just outside a little bit. And it became ice like that. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why do I tell you that? You know my calendar, but what is it? Huh? Ah, because of the warm heat. Yes. <laughs> and now feel cold. Okay. Gracious viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled The Fallen Angels Part 2 of 8 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Selections from Compassionate Action by Chatra Sanghi Dorje Rinpoche, Vegetarian, Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May your peace promoting actions bring more hope to our world and blessing for a brighter tomorrow for all. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.